Yes, sir. We're going to need it. I promise you, this community is going to need it. Because you've got police officers that lie and falsify a police report on audio and get to walk away. We're going to be here every single day. We're going to talk about this police department and what they've done to my little brother, how they falsify a police report, how they tamper the evidence. Let me talk about Casey Stevens. This is uh, the jail, Prince William County. Prince William County, adult torture facility. They're killing people inside their jail, sir. We've got inmates coming forward. The FBI is already investigating. Inmates are coming forward. Mohammed A. Crop Shurdell is one of them. Robert Reed is one of them. Rodney Ward is dying as we're talking right now. They're telling the mom he's okay. Rodney Ward. They put him in a wheelchair last night. When the mom called, he's doing okay. That's what they tell her. He's doing okay. That's what they told us on May 24th. That my little brother Mustafa was okay when the correctional officer went in, beat him up unconscious because we went to internal up there and complained about Master Sergeant Robert Drum. He's above the law because he's been there for 15 years. He's above the law. We hired Casey Stevens, the defense attorney, that took all of our money only to turn around, protect, and falsify, uh, protect the falsified police report. In court, in court, he didn't play the audio of the falsified police report to show that this, officer, this investigator falsified the police report. He didn't, show, he didn't play the home video. And then after court, he says, I forgot to play the evidence. You forgot to play the evidence? You took all of our money, $50,000. You forgot to play the evidence? So we fired this defense attorney. They give us a public defender. Public defender that's unresponsive to the case. He's unresponsive to the case. He doesn't show he doesn't he doesn't pick up the phone when my brother calls him. He doesn't visit my brother and just neglected the whole entire case. So my brother sits inside that jail. He got beaten up by correctional officers because he because he complained about this investigator to internal affairs. He said they falsified my police report. We have the physical evidence, we have the audio that this investigator falsified the police report. We have the police report, we have the audio. But this investigator gets to walk away. He gets to walk away. He's above the law. Under the color of the law, he gets to do whatever he wants. My brother got beaten up on May 24. And he's got major injuries. He was denied medical. They suspended the Constitution inside their jail. His Eighth Amendment is suspended. He's being denied medical. He's got major injuries. He's got no sensation on the bottom of his feet. Till today, he got beaten up in May 24, and he's healing improperly. He's deteriorating inside that jail facility. He's got no sensation on the bottom of his feet. He's got blurred vision because of the beating. He's got a piece of bone sticking out of his elbow. He's got a piece of bone sticking out of his kneecap. He's got compound and fractures that's healing improperly. He's got internal bleeding. We go to the jail board meeting to bring up these issues. And we're begging for help. We're begging for help. Instead, we find out that they're policing themselves. We got the chief of police, that his police officer falsified my brother police report. You've got the Commonwealth Attorney that's using a falsified police report after internal affairs notifies her that he falsified the police report to move forward and upgrade charges on my brother. You got the sheriff that the correctional officer that beat up my brother unconscious and denied medical. These correctional officers get their authority from the sheriff, Sheriff One Hill, sitting on that board. They're policing themselves, and we're sitting there telling them we're complaining to them about them. They're policing themselves. They're above the law. You got Amy Ashworth accepting money from Casey Stevens, the defense attorney that my brother had, $3,740. How does that make any kind of sense? That's not a conflict of interest. I don't know what conflict of interest is. You've got the defense attorney that ha that we found out that is friends with investigator Robert Drum. Back in 2016, this lawyer got in a vehicle accident, got in the DUI, and fled the scene. He fled the scene. Well, guess who's the, who's the, who's the investigator on scene? Who's the police officer on scene? 
the investigator Robert Drum was the officer on the scene. And he, and he, uh, quote, Casey Stevens, the lawyer, got 90 days suspended. Look him up, Casey Stevens, Stevens Corroso, out of Prince William County. Look up his criminal background. He's got a relationship with a police officer that falsified my police report. And now, the whole thing actually makes sense. No wonder he forgot to play the audio and the evidence, and he's been suppressing evidence in court. Because he's got a relationship with the, with the, with the police officer. And then you, you ask Chief Newsham, Chief Newsham just runs away. Chief Newsham, Prince William County in Virginia, he runs away when my brother is asking him the hard questions. Why did you, why did your investigator, Robert John, falsify my brother's police report? Why did your department question stage the vehicle to have a collaborate that falsified police report? Why did you edit the dash camera and hit the dash camera for five months? Why are you not telling the community that there's a dash camera? <laughs> the chief runs away. First off, he starts off very confident that when you ask him, He's just covering up for the investigator. And then when you ask him the hard question, he just runs away. I've got a video. The chief of police runs away. Well, we're going to be here every day. And I promise you, Mustafa Al-Jazari is going to get justice. I promise you, Mustafa Al-Jazari is going to get justice. I'm going to be here. And I'm going to be voicing out my little brother's voice. We want my brother to show up in court. We've got physical evidence that showed that this investigator and this police department and this jail has committed crimes. Has committed crimes. We've got physical evidence. It's not my word against their words. But we want my brother to go to the hospital because he's dying inside that jail. They beat him up on May 24 because he said my, my police report is falsified. Correctional officer would beat him up because he said investigator Robert Drum falsified my police report. We're going to be here every day. We're going to be talking about my little brother Mustafa Al-Jazari. And I promise you Mustafa Al-Jazari will get justice.